Now, Kamala, I don't know if you noticed, if you paid attention to the news lately, Kamala has decided that the American people don't like her policies, and she's exactly right about that. Just take one, immigration. Kamala Harris, remember, she suspended deportations on day one. She stopped Donald Trump's remain in Mexico policy. That was on day one. And that's why we have a wide open southern border. But I read a story this morning that her advisors are considering just copying all of Donald Trump's policies. They're more popular. In fact, I've heard that for her debate in just a couple of weeks, she's going to put on a Navy suit, a long red tie, and adopt the slogan, Make America Great Again. I think that's what... But we're not, we're not going to let the American people forget that Kamala Harris is the candidate of American decline. She cast the tie-breaking vote for the Inflation Explosion Act. She cast the tie-breaking vote to send interest rates and mortgages through the roof. She opened that border on day one, and as much as fake Kamala wants to pretend that she now agrees with Donald Trump, we've got to remind her she's the vice president right now. Stop talking about what you're going to do. Stop start talking about what you are going to do right now because you're the vice president. And what she has done, what she has done has been a disaster. Now, I will confess that in some ways I have a soft heart, ladies and gentlemen. In some ways I feel bad for Kamala Harris. They don't. You don't. But I, I really, I'm not sure that this is a woman who knows what she actually believes. She is, if you think about it, she's just a cog in the wheel of a very corrupt system. Now let's go back in time a few years and just remember the formula of Kamala Harris and her handlers and what it wrecked. Now step one, remember step one was to ship all of our good manufacturing jobs to Mexico, to China, to far flung corners all over the world. Remember, Kamala Harris supported the reauthorization of NAFTA, which has been terrible for the state of Michigan, the state of Ohio, and the state of Pennsylvania. Proud towns became ghost towns. Dignified American workers became dependent on the government. And families, including a lot of families like mine, fell apart under financial stress. Now, that was step one. Did we ask for any of that? Now, here's step two. Step two is open our border to millions of illegal immigrants. And into that void, into that void of joblessness, poured drugs and a lot of cheap labor. Our leadership, including Kamala Harris, they said it was compassionate, but it was a lie. What they really wanted, my friends, was millions of voters for Democrat policies, and they wanted millions of cheap laborers. American wages went down, and our leaders learned they could ignore their own citizens and their quest for power. Now, that was step two, and I asked, did we ask for that? Now, the next step was a lot of stupid foreign policy. Our leaders couldn't deliver f prosperity, but they could deliver war and conflict. So we invaded countries all over the world, and then we invited other countries to invade us through illegal immigration. Our people got poorer, our leaders got richer, and they got more powerful. Now that was step three, and I asked, did we ask for that? No. 